Ian here for Academy Class. In this tip of the week video, I'll show you how to create a grid in Adobe Illustrator. Grids give you the ability to quickly lay out multiple elements evenly using rows, columns, and gutters. In this example, I'll show you how to use a grid for images, but you can also use them for text and graphics too. I'll swap over to my other document, grab the rectangle tool, and the rectangle I'm going to drag out now will be the overall size of the grid. With the rectangle still selected, I'll come up to the object menu, down to path and split into grid. I'll turn on the preview so I'll see the changes when I make them. And I'll set the rows to two, rows being the horizontal elements and the columns to three in the vertical elements. I'd like to create a bit of a gap between these boxes, these rectangles being created. So I'll increase the gutter between the rows to say two, and the gutter between the columns also to two. We have the extra option of being able to add guides around all of the rectangles, but I'll just keep it off in this example. Then I'll click OK. So the initial rectangle has been now divided into six smaller rectangles. And I'm going to show you how to put an image into one of these rectangles. And that process can then be repeated for the remaining rectangles. So I'll come up to File and down to Place. And I'll select one of my images. I'll click and drag out the image over the top of my rectangle to start off with and then using the selection tool I'll just roughly move it into place. I'll need to ensure that the picture is behind the rectangle so I'm about to make a clipping mask. So I'll right click on the picture, choose a range and then center back. So the rectangle will be the mask, it has to be at the front. So with the picture selected I'll shift click on the rectangle, release the shift key, come up to the object menu, clipping mask, and then make. So next I'll repeat the process for the remaining five rectangles. So now I have all the pictures complete, thank you for watching the video.